Anthony Martial has four goals in his last four appearances for Manchester United, including that brace at Stamford Bridge and that fantastic winner against Everton at Old Trafford. Now, he's in the best form he's been in since Alexis Sanchez arrived at the club back in January 2018. And on Monday Night Football on Sky Sports, Gary Neville was asked about Anthony Martial and to give his views on Martial as a whole in terms of his United career and Monaco as well. On Monday Night Football, Gary Neville discussed Anthony Martial in detail, discussed his strengths, but also some key points that he feels that Martial needs to improve to become a world-class player. Is Gary Neville right in what he says about Anthony Martial? Now, the first question to ask is how good is Anthony Martial? For me, I think he's got the ability to be absolutely sensational. And right now, he's already one of the best players in this United squad. And that's with a squad that's got Sanchez, Lukaku, Lingard, Rashford. Martial, for me, is already one of the best players. And if you look at Martial's form prior to Alexis Sanchez's arrival in January 2018, it was brilliant. Martial was named Player of the Month in January for the third time already that season, in a month where he scored in three consecutive games for Manchester United with three goals, and he also got two assists as well. He was brilliant. At that point in the season, he already had 11 goals and nine assists. He was well on to beating his 17 goals that he scored in his debut season for Manchester United. But Alexis Sanchez's arrival stunted his growth as a player because he became less important to the starting eleven for Jose Mourinho. Whether or not that was the right thing to do, that's your own opinion. But that's what Jose Mourinho decided to do. Now, as I said, I feel Sanchez's arrival did harm Martial's growth a little bit. But if you look at his current form right now, he is in sensational form. But what does Gary Neville think about him? This is what Gary had to say on Monday Night Football when asked about Anthony Martial. Did he fight for him? Is he worth fighting for? Fans are torn on him. I'm probably, there's never been a player uh, uh, for the last probably 10 years at Manchester United that I've been confused by as much in terms of what is he. Normally when you sort of look at a player, you think, what is he? Do I like him? Do I not like him? I can't make my mind up. Some weeks I think he's brilliant. Other weeks I think, I, I, I'm not sure he's a Manchester United player. Now, Gary said that fans are torn on Anthony Martial. Is that a fair thing to say? I think it's a pretty fair comment. In maybe torn is the wrong word, but his inconsistency has led to a lot of questions being asked by Manchester United fans. And not all of them are answered right now, but nobody can deny that the talent is there. Now, is he worth fighting for as a player for United to keep? Absolutely. For me, that is a rhetorical question. Martial has the ability, I still think, to be in the top 10 players in the world in terms of where he is now to where he can be in a few years' time. So I think if United were to let him leave, it will be a move that we massively, massively regret. As for Gary saying whether he is unsure of Martial being a proper United player, I disagree with that completely. I think Martial is absolutely a United player. You know, he's one of the only players in this squad that will get you off your seat with excitement. He's one of the only players in this squad who has the ability to run at a defender with pace and the ball at his feet. And he's an exciting player to watch. And those are the attackers that United fans know and love. Obviously, Ronaldo is going to be the one that you're going to compare to there. Somebody who arrived at the club with such promise as a teenager and went on to become a world beater. Martial arrived at the club with so much promise, delivered on his debut against Liverpool had a stunning first season under Louis van Gaal and has struggled a little bit since in some points and then other points he's been brilliant. But for me, he's absolutely a United player. Gary goes on to discuss Anthony Martial's career to date so far. You look at it, over 200 appearances he's made. He's scored over 50 goals. And Gary goes on to discuss some strengths and weaknesses of Anthony Martial's game. And the main strength that Gary focuses on is Anthony Martial's finishing. You know, just look at his last two goals that he scored. That brilliant curler into the bottom corner against Chelsea and that fantastic, very similar goal that he scored against Everton. Opened up his body, curled it into the corner, a very purposeful finish. He knew exactly where he wanted that ball to go. That's a striker's finish. That's a natural striker's finish. And that is definitely, for me, Martial's best talent. I mean, every United fan knows how good Martial's finishing is. We saw it on his debut against Liverpool when he wormed into the box and curled one into the corner. Such a high pressure moment for a teenager, but he absolutely delivered. That is his best asset, but it's also the point where I think most United fans get frustrated because we've seen what Anthony Martial can do. We've seen him do it plenty of times, but you don't see him do it every single week. And that for me is where a lot of United fans do want to see him improve 
the last couple of games against Chelsea and Everton, that's the Martial that United fans want to see every week. But as much as I think Martial's finishing is probably his best asset, I think the thing that excites me the most is watching him when he's running at a defender with a ball at his feet, with power, with pace and with intent. There haven't been that many players in the last few years at Manchester United that have done that and done that consistently. And for me, that is why he's such an exciting player because every time he's one-on-one -on -one with a defender, you'd back Martial to beat him. Wins the penalty against Everton. You knew he was going to win the penalty there. You really did because you just knew he had the better of the man. And that's what Martial does with the ball at his feet. And I think that's where he gets most of his own confidence from as well. However, you know, as good as he is with the ball at his feet, as good as his finishing can be on occasions, it's obvious that for Martial to take a step up as a player, to get into that next bracket of players at the top, the elite players, it's clear that he needs to improve. But what does Martial need to improve in his game? Now, when Gary Neville was discussing this on Monday Night Football, he really focused on discussing Martial's intelligence in terms of the runs he makes and when he makes them. He went on to say that whenever he was a defender, he would be facing a player, but as soon as he turned away, that attacker would be making the run. He feels that Martial doesn't make enough runs like that and that he's just not naturally got that in his system. I mean, I'm not sure if that is something that naturally a winger should have. Maybe he should have it, but that's something that can definitely be coached in. And that's something that Neville clearly wants to see improve. And again, I think this is a fair point from Gary Neville. I think that Martial's natural strengths are with the ball at his feet. That's where he gets his confidence from. So he would prefer to hang back and receive the ball wide and then run at a defender rather than run in behind and receive a ball. Now, we've got Paul Popper in this squad. We've got Fred, we've got Mata, we've got ball-playing central midfielders and midfielders that will be capable of finding a ball in behind for Anthony Martial. I think in terms of this, it's... Two things that Martial needs to improve, really. One, he needs to make more of those runs himself, and I do think Neville is right in saying that, and at the right time, that's the key, key thing. But second, he's got to have more belief in his own squad, that Popper will find that ball in behind. And that time after time, when you make the run, if you make that run enough, you will get that opportunity. You will find that pass and that ball that gets you through one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper. And I think that is a really fair point that Gary Neville has raised in terms of how Martial can improve himself. But that's quite a small thing when you think about it because Martial is a natural finisher. He's a natural predator. If the main thing he needs to learn is something that can be coached into him in terms of what run to make and when to make it, that's something that United fans should be very excited about. It's much better than him being great at that but then having to learn how to finish. It's the lesser of two evils and it's something that can certainly be coached into a player who is still only 22. He's years away from his peak as a footballer. And Neville also highlighted Martial's lack of movement as a key area that he feels he needs to improve when discussing Martial on Monday Night Football. I just looked at his physical stats against those players on that list there and again I got the shock of my life. And I got to, I got to the point where I thought, that's why Deschamps and Jose and others don't fancy her. And when you look at the players in and around him, like we just did before on the stats of goals and assists with Mane and Hazard, Mane, nearly 2K more. Hazard, who gets accused of not working hard, is 1.5K more than Anthony Martial. Now, you can't really ignore those stats. He's significantly down on the likes of Hazard, Salah, Rashford, everybody around him. Mane. That's something that Martial needs to improve. But the most exciting thing about it is that Neville's highlighted two key areas he needs to improve in terms of his actual physical running, making the runs, and second of all, the types of runs he is making. Both of those can be fixed by the same thing, just making more runs. Because eventually, if you make more and more runs, you'll get better and better and better. It's like taking free kicks. You're not brilliant at the start, but you take free kicks and you keep practicing and practicing and practicing, you're going to get greater free kicks. So if Martial can learn that as a player, understand the constructive criticism that, that Neville is giving here, which I think is fair and designed to help him, not to hinder him, then he certainly can learn that very quickly and add that to his game. But even with those weaknesses of his game that Gary Neville feels that Martial can improve on, Martial is right up there in the mix with the likes of Hazard, Mane, William, Rashford, Sane, Sterling, nowhere near Salah, but no one really is. 
Imagine what Martial could do if he could improve these areas of his game. Because he'll create more goal-scoring opportunities for himself. He'll put himself into a position where he can be found by Pogba or found by Fred or Mata. And then he'll be able to, you know, 17 goals in his debut season when he was raw, unpolished as a player, first year in the Premier League with a squad which is much weaker than Manchester United have got right now. If he can improve these areas of his game with the likes of Pogba, Mata and Fred finding the balls through for him when he's making the right runs, 20 goals a season will be absolutely easy for Anthony Martial. However, there is one thing I want to pick Gary Neville up on here. I think Gary Neville is absolutely fair in his critique of Martial. And as I said, it's designed to help him, not hinder him. But in comparison to the critique that the likes of Marcus Rashford and Jesse Lingard get, I don't think it's fair by comparison. I do think the media is hypercritical of Anthony Martial in what he does because he's fallen out with Jose Mourinho. It's a better story for them than Marcus Rashford or Jesse Lingard, two academy English products. You've got to be fair with your critique as much as your praise. And I think that Martial gets too much in comparison to Rashford and Lingard because both of them have had really poor periods. Both of them have had great periods as well. But if we're going to be critical and hypercritical of where Martial needs to improve and where he's going wrong, then I think the same thing has to apply to Marcus Rashford, Jesse Lingard, Romelu Lukaku, any other player in this United squad. Now, with Martial currently rejecting United's contract offer, there are questions being asked over whether the club should keep him or not. And for me, that's a waste of oxygen because absolutely 100% yes, Manchester United should be keeping Anthony Martial at the club. We shouldn't even be considering selling him. It would be a huge, huge mistake. Martial is still far from polished. He's not a finished product. He's still got years of growth ahead of him. And he's got, already got over 50 goals and already has over 200 appearances, senior appearances in professional football. He's already one of the most exciting players that this United squad has. And for me, he's one of the players that we have to hold on to the most. What Martial needs to do himself now is take this constructive criticism on board, help it to improve himself, get back in that France squad. He's got the talent to do it. They've got a hell of a squad, but Martial is a hell of a player. And he can continue on this excellent run of form that he's got in the Premier League with Manchester United right now. And my, how we need it, because you look at last season, Man United were desperately reliant on Romelu Lukaku for goals. Lukaku's had a bad season so far. Martial stepped up and it's helped United in the last couple of games. That needs to continue. But I do think that what Gary Neville had to say about the areas where Martial needs to improve, I think those comments are fair. But what do you think? about Gary Neville's comments on Martial, are they fair or not? How good do you think Anthony Martial can become in the future? Comment below with what you think. And as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.